And here we go. Customer called in and said their pool was green and they needed our help. So we came to the rescue. So with this one, we started with our phosphate remover. Those white clouds indicate that this pool had a lot of phosphates in it, which is a food that algae eats. Next, we did an initial vacuum. By doing this, it speeds up on the turnaround time. Customers always love that. Even though this pool had a lot of algae, it came off pretty easy. Our next step is to superchlorinate the pool. That's six pounds of shock going into that pool. And of course, we gotta make sure we get it all in there. And the final step in the initial treatment is to put the revive in the pool. Make sure you spray the entire contents of the bottle evenly on the surface of the pool. Not bad after a couple hours. Part two, here we go. And 24 hours later, all the dead algae dropped to the bottom for us to vacuum out. And the initial vacuum in part one saved us about a day of time. Missed a few spots brushing yesterday, but I couldn't see at the bottom. Now I can thanks for the treatment. And oh yeah, we can't forget about the jacuzzi. Not bad after day two. Like and follow for more pool pro tips. Yo, Part three, like, here we go. Super hard. Hey, shoulders, knees, toes, down, knees, Opened up the cartridge yeah, filter. No, and yeah, hey, we need shoulders, to replace those. Knees, Toes, down, knees, get low, yeah. And the salt cell needed to be cleaned too. That's an acid and water mix. Check the bubbles. And before we close the top, we grease it with some magic food. Secure the belt. And open up the air release valve. Blu-ray XL is a secret ingredient. Uh, fire Link in bio. Hot hot. The is hot, hot. And yeah, just like that. Watch how they yell 12 hot, hot. I never asked for help, I never called the cops. No, they called him, they killed baby on the fucking spot. Rest in peace. I sleep closest to the like door. Like a follow That's my fucking spot. You step out, get some in now, let your edge out To some ice book, you'll be heavy in my mind Can you get the heck out, honey, rest now Got me bummed out, you so, you so, you Baby, baby, baby I've been on my empty mind, shit
Attempting to fit all this in this small space. This was really heavy. Stay tuned for part two.
another daily tip. I'm willing to bet that your garbage disposal stinks so badly, and this is part of the reason. Go ahead and start soaking that with some dishwater soap. Then you're gonna get a bunch of ice and put it down in your garbage disposal with some soap. Be sure to put the stopper in for the next part. Turn it on, and then you're going to hear it doing all the work. Not only is it cleaning, but it's also sharpening those blades with all that up. Today is a two for one daily tip. You can use Barkeeper's Friend to scrub down and get rid of the water spots in your sink on your stainless steel. Look at this before and after. Isn't that incredible? Okay, so now you do the first layers kind of like your base layer. And we are going to make a really pretty design. It's so simple, but yet people find this fascinating when they come into my house. And they also think that I am a sociopath that I take the time to do this once a month. But you know what? You say OCD is a disease, I say it's a blessing. And people always ask, do I replace them every time someone eats one? No, I'm not crazy. I'm just organized every 30 days. I actually get excited when they start to diminish because that means people like them. So you just keep stacking until you get to the top. Oh. Alright, this is probably the worst hot tub I've had to work on. There's literally slugs, spiders, the water's black, and the smell is just disgusting. It's not been used for a couple years, and it was turned on the other day so the water was warm. So what I'm going to do is put the pump in and jet it down as it's draining. Hoover out all the bits at the bottom, then fill it back up. Clean out underneath, there's a lot of leaves in there. Get the filters cleaned up. I've got some cartridge cleaner, spray that on. Now it's filled back up, I'll get the hot tub flush. Get everything running, all the jets, pour it in down the skimmers, let it run through for about half an hour. You see all the dirt coming out of the pipes. Drain it down again, hoover out all the little bits. Start filling it back up. And that's job done. Holly your boy for the ball work.